my name is Lisa Esham, and I've been posting a lot of pictures of my flowed skies and my aspen or birch trees, and a lot of people have been asking me questions about it, so I thought I would do this quick video to show you how I achieve those effects. So I have here just a clean uh, 4x4 ceramic tile. Um, get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. You can buy a case of them for like $20 or somewhere around there. I have some isopropyl alcohol in this little squeeze bottle and in this little can. I've picked out some colors to do a two color sky um, and a little ground and then the trees. So I've already cleaned my tile with the alcohol and a paper towel. So now I'm just going to put some ink down and it doesn't, not putting it in any particular order. Kind of depends on if you want purple here or there or pinks somewhere. And take some of the alcohol. And you say I use quite a bit actually because I want it to like flow like water just like that and as you move it around I try to keep it pointed towards the camera pick up the rest of that color And then you can just kind of set it down. So if you want it a little bit, it'll finish drying. If there's something on there you don't quite like, while the alcohol is still wet. And I've got a pretty well blended sky. Okay, now our ink is dry. And we're ready to do the next step. We're just going to give it a real quick landscape. I want to get right to painting the tree, so I'm just going to kind of pick it up and let the ink run. Maybe put a little yellow in there. And I don't really want to put alcohol on it too much because I don't want it to run into my sky. So I'll use this brush, I'll just kind of pull the ink around, gives it some hills and some texture. <laughs> Got a little hair right there. I have pets. So this is just a can that has, like I said, alcohol in it for rinsing my brush. A little bit of blowing helps encourage the ink to dry. And it's okay, I kind of like that dark line. It gives it a nice definition for the hill between the hill and the sky. It gives it a little more depth. So to do a tree, once I'm at this point, I get some alcohol on my brush. And inside my can, it's got a little bar so I can get it wet and I can wipe it off. Because if you get it like this and you draw a line, you see how fat and how it bleeds at the bottom. If you wipe it off a little bit and then do that same line, then it doesn't bleed as much. 
I'm using small brushes. I have ones that are even smaller for skinnier trees. So we'll start with one bigger tree. And wipe it off like that. You see, I kind of check my brush each time. Trees aren't straight lines, so it's got a little crookedness to it. That's okay. Now you got a big fat tree in there, and you don't have to remove all the color. And that's because if it's an aspirin or a birch, it's not completely white. There's a little bit of color from maybe a little bit of moss or something or algae growing on it. So now I got my little brush. I do the same thing. I kind of wipe it off. So I pull through that dark line. Now I got a small tree. And I can use this same small brush and use it on its side instead of flat. And you can give it some small branches. Maybe this one has a big fat branch right here. Now we've got some branches on it. Now I'm going to take the snow cap white. I've already shook it up and got that BB moving and got all that where it separates. We've got it all shook back together. I tried to get most of the lids off first, but I'm using just an egg carton to kind of hold my bottles up so I don't tip them over. I'm going to turn this just a little bit. more you put on then the more white it will look Just for the branches and I'm going to use a small brush to fill in the bigger tree The white tends to absorb the color that's underneath of it. If you put it right down on top of the color, that's why I like to remove the color first. So my tree doesn't come out blue and green and not look white. Now for the branches. Rinse my brush. I don't like to leave the white on there. It makes the brush very stiff. I don't like to put my lids back on. Sorry. So this is mushroom. 
and I'm going to take that same small brush and put some of that mushroom on there and you want to determine which direction your light is coming from will be which tree side of the tree you highlight so in this case we're going to have the light coming from this side so we're going to turn our tile so that you can see it better and that came out a little big but that's all right because we can go back in see clean it off And no, I'm not using a palette. I want to just pull it right out of the bottle and right off the edge. A little bit of that highlight shadows on the branches And it's okay that we got the little blob at the top of the tree because well, trees get parasites and insects that bore into their little branches. So we've got ways of fixing it so it'll kind of be hidden. So now we've got that. Now we're going to go in with the pitch black. I've got a really tiny little skinny brush. And I'm going to put a little black on it. on the edge like that. To come to this side so I can A little bit more black. Check it on the paper there. I'm going to add a little bit of black to these branches. you've got it looking like a tree. That wasn't very hard at all. Just some crooked lines, some dots. Uh oh. Oops. That will get covered up. Gotta be careful with your alcohol.
Now I have this felt stamper I've made. I used a wine cork. I cut some stick, sticky Velcro with the loopy part and some little tiny pieces of felt. You put that on there. And then I'm going to put a few drops of alcohol on it. And when you push it on the paper, see the start spots start to get smaller and more farther apart. got leaves on your trees. Put a few more drops on there. Check it again. You can give yourself some landscape texture. several corks so I can just grab a new one and now that little spot that was behind there is just a patch of leaves now There you have it. A quick little video on blending a sky and making some really cool trees. Thanks for watching.